Hey guys, Anthony here with another WordPress quick tip and today I'm going to be talking about a custom Facebook feed. So if you want to display your Facebook feed into your WordPress site, there is a way to do this and uh, there's a plugin called the custom Facebook feed that will accomplish it. So uh, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start in the good old admin panel. Uh, we're going to click on add new plugin and when you get to the search bar type custom Facebook and return that and uh, in, in the, at the very top you're going to see an icon with the splatter that's the one we want custom Facebook feed you can go and install that and uh, once that's installed you're going to activate the plugin and if you look on the left hand side you're going to notice a new menu item that says Facebook feed so we're going to go to the settings of that Facebook feed and this is where you're going to put the page ID of your your Facebook page that you want to display the feed of so in the case of mine here it's everything after the dot com so then you paste that in to the Facebook page ID and what that's going to do is pull the feed from that Facebook page. Now you can also set it to a group or a profile, it's your preference. Um, so in my case it is a page. You can even show posts that other people are making on your page which, which shows that you, are, you have an active page. You can change the limit and you can change the post limit. Um, so if you look here at the next section though, uh, there is a caching uh, system built into it. So it, it's checking Facebook and then putting the content on your page. And it, th this one is set to do it every hour. You can set it to be days, minutes, hours. Uh, if you're posting regularly, I'd probably recommend you set it at hours, maybe minutes if you're posting on the hour. Uh, now you can also, so when you save it, you can also use a short code. Now the short code is right below, it says displaying your feed. If you take this short code and you add it to a page, I've created a page already called Facebook feed, and you just and click the update button. Now make sure you're in text editor because it won't work with a visual editor. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, go ahead and click on view page and you're gonna see that my page is now populating with my post and there are my links and all kinds of stuff there so so yeah this this works out really great if you want a, a quick and easy way to display your posts for Facebook uh, now another thing that's really cool about this plugin is there is some heavy customization you can you can set the Facebook feed width you can set the topography the colors the padding the icons everything is customizable and it, it's, it's a very cool plugin and I believe you can set even uh, uh, yeah, you can get really detailed in this. Uh, the link to Facebook, you can even change the text of that. You can say, uh, check me out on Facebook or anything that, that you may see fit. So yeah, and that's it's a basic plugin and, and it, it's a very easy way to get your feed displaying uh, quickly. Now one thing to note is it will not display photos. There is a pro version of it that is uh, $49 that you can do that with. Um, but this works out really well if you just want a simple text solution. So that's the custom Facebook feed in a nutshell. There are other plugins that will handle the images and things like that, um, but it, it, this is my preference. I, I, I gravitate towards this one just because of the high level of customization that it has, and also the simplicity. Uh, most of most Facebook plugins require you to create a an application on Facebook and take the API key and the secret key and all of that and input all of that information into the plugin, and, and I find that to be a little it's, it's overkill if you only want a text uh, widget to display your Facebook feed. So this is just a quick and easy way to display text. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this plugin, uh, there are a lot of extra shortcode uh, items that you can check out on the, on, on the page of the plugin. They actually have some, a, a higher level of customization in the shortcode to where you can, you can display how many posts you want, or you can even display a totally different page. If you do ID equals and then a different page in the shortcode, it It'll actually display a separate page so you can do multiple pages on your site that's another big benefit of this plugin so yeah any questions leave them below and be sure to subscribe